All right, BFIT Nation, looks like we are ready to go. Welcome back to a Motivational Monday. A great start to your Monday here with our BFIT Live programmed workouts. As always, welcome, join us. Uh, if you are new to the program, leave us a note in the comments below. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you are working out from. Um, again, if you are new to the program, um, BFIT Live, this is our programmed workout. It could be cardio-based movements or resistance-based movements in a just under 30-minute live workouts where you can join with us, join with myself, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes, every step of the way, every rep of the way um, to get a uh, just under 30-minute live workout for you. A little time to focus on ourselves at the beginning of the week. Uh, we come to you live every Monday at uh, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So um, this is a great time for us to focus on a little bit of uh, movement uh, as we get into the rest of the week. Uh, the workout that we have prepared for you today, we have a cardio, I'm sorry, we have a resistance-based workout. So if you have any access to dumbbells, uh, go ahead and grab that. Um, if you have access to a mat, that might feel a little bit more comfortable as well as we do have some movements on the floor. Um, <clears throat> other than that, um, welcome in, uh, grab a towel, uh, grab your water, keep your water handy in case you may need it uh, to hydrate throughout the workout. Um, the way that it will go today, programming for today, I will show you the demonstrations of four movements. Uh, we'll jump into some dynamic stretching before we get started, and then we'll move into our workout. Timing, the timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements within four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four rounds, one minute rest in between each of those rounds, giving us some time to recover, reset, refocus, and uh, to gear back up and challenge ourselves to the next additional rounds that we may have. All right, team, sound good? Again, leave us out in the comments, let us know where you're watching from, joining from, and uh, if you have any questions, any uh, modifications that you would like to see, any uh, questions on movements that we are uh, tackling for today, again, let us know in the comments below. Um, with that, uh, let me demonstrate, uh, go through the four movements that we have for today. That way we know exactly what we're gonna tackle. So <clears throat> starting with a pair of dumbbells here, if you, don't, if you don't have any dumbbells, that's perfectly fine. Uh, go ahead and make some nice strong fists or um, find anything that you uh, may uh, carry or add as resistance. So today we have movement number one, a hammer curl plus an alternating reverse lunge. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pair of dumbbells here. We're gonna step to the top of our workout space. We have one hammer curl. So hammer curls being palm facing each other. You're, gonna, you're going to uh, come up with your weights here. So elbows stay tucked in, palms still face each other at that hammer curl position. So one hammer curl here, you're back down, control that movement, and you have a reverse lunge. A few notes on our reverse lunge. When we step back, we wanna go ahead and push our hips back. Our knees are practically in that 90 degree bend here. So our knee is just over our ankle or just at our toe line here. So reverse, um, alternating reverse lunge here, you're back up. Then we have that hammer curl once again, hammer curl and then you are back with your opposite leg. So hammer curl up top, reset yourself, sit back with an alternating reverse lunge. All right, that's gonna be movement number two. We're gonna drop some weight here. We're gonna go into movement, I'm sorry, that was movement number one. Movement number two, we drop down the weights and we'll move into a downward dog to a push up with a shoulder tap, all right? A few things here that we can do to break down this movement, okay? Um, <clears throat> yoga inspired with the downward dog first. So we're going to get into that high plank position. That's going to be your foundation right here. All right. Movement number movement first is that downward dog here. Nice, tall stretch pike with those hips up. Your heels should be pushing back into the floor. Okay. Feet and hands shoulder width apart. As you come into your high plank position hands stacked underneath our shoulders, we have one push up. And then we are up alternating hand here with our shoulder taps, right hand to left shoulder, keeping our hips square to the floor, left hand to right shoulder, you're back down and back up into your downward dog, into your push up, right arm, left shoulder, left arm, left hand, right shoulder. If we need to regress a little bit, let's go downward dog here to our knees 
and then into our push-up, followed by shoulder taps right here. Push back up, down dog, onto our knees, into our push-up and our shoulder taps, okay? That's gonna be the modification for movement number two. Movement number three, sticking with one dumbbell here, we're gonna take a half kneel position here. <clears throat> one dumbbell here, so if my right knee is down, my left knee is up, we are going to front rack our dumbbell, our weight here. So palm is gonna be facing the front of the room. Again, half kneel here, chest is up, shoulders rolled back. We have a single arm shoulder press, 20 seconds on each side. So we will be working on a shoulder press for 20 seconds on your right arm. Again, if your left leg is up, your right arm is pressing, bicep next to ear at top position, control that back down into that 90 degree bend and you're right back up. Okay, 20 seconds on one arm, then you'll switch your stance, switch your kneel, re-rack on your opposite arm, and we are back up for 20 seconds on that uh, alternate hand. All right, that's gonna be movement number three, a half kneeling shoulder press, followed by a single arm extended dumbbell row, okay? So we've covered lower body, biceps, chest, into core, a little bit of uh, half kneeling shoulder press with our shoulders. So this time we're gonna work on isolating our back. Not only that, but a little bit of lower body work here too. So we wanna find our balance. This is a little bit of a challenging movement here where we have to balance and stabilize off of one foot. So right leg is down, left leg is back, right? Um, <clears throat> hand is dropped down right in front of us here. We're working on a row here. So. As we come up, palm meets close to our pocket, close to our waist. We wanna make sure that we have that 90 degree bend in our arm as we go into that row. So opposite hand is out for counterbalance here. And we have 20 seconds of a row. You'll notice that leg out, extended out, that's really gonna activate that grounded leg. So you'll feel uh, hamstring glute activation in that grounded leg as you are rowing. So left hand rows, right leg is down. For 20 seconds, we'll go ahead and switch sides here. So left leg is down and right leg is out. Now, if this is a little bit too challenging for us today, we can go ahead and ground that rear leg. So our toes are on the floor here as well as we row here. So hips are square to the floor. Our back is nice and straight here, relatively straight line from our back all the way down to our leg with a single arm with a leg extension row. All right, those are gonna be the four movements that we have for today. Again, nice challenging movements here. So pick a weight that's challenging. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're gonna to start some timer. We're gonna start the timer before that though, we were gonna jump into some dynamic stretching. That way we can get warmed up team. All right, how's that sound? <laughs> All right, dynamic stretches coming up. That way we can get our bodies prepared to work, warmed up. Uh, that way we don't jump into our workout nice and cold. So we want to always want to be warmed up before we jump in. So let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch. We're going to take that right leg. We're going to extend it back. Take that left arm. Shoot it up in the air here. You're going to feel your stretch in your hip flexors, your quads. Again, your hips opening up and your shoulder with that overhead extension, mid to upper back, shoulders. We will sit in each movement for about 30 seconds. So go at your own pace here or follow me. I just like to sit in for a few seconds on each leg. Again, everybody's different. We feel a little different today. Each day is a little different. So you may feel a little tight in certain parts of your body. This is a great time to kind of scan and see where you might be tight at from sitting, moving through the weekend or this morning, right? Last one here. All right, let's go into reverse lunges with the reach. We have reverse lunges for movement number one. So this is a great way to warm up on the movement. Top of our space here, we're gonna extend back into our reverse lunge. So right leg goes back, right arm comes up and right arm shoots over to our left. Coming back up to standing, back reverse lunge, reach over to the side. All right, take advantage of that reach. Lats stretched out with that overhead reach. Good, left leg is forward, right leg is back, right hand goes over to your left. Shoots up and over here again. 
nice quality reverse lunge. Really sit in that hip flexor, sit in those hips. Last one here. Good. All right, let's go into a few inchworms here, about four or five to be roughly exact here. So feet together here, shoulder width apart. We're gonna reach down to our toes, feel that stretch in our hamstring. From here, we're gonna slowly walk it out to a high plank position, right? Keep our core nice and tight. Retract back, touch our toes, and we are back to standing position, all right? Bend your knees as much as you need to touch our toes comfortably. Back to that high plank. Walking back, back to standing. All right, team. Stay with us here. Back up. Plank. Good. Back to standing. Last one here. Nice stretch in our hamstring once again. High plank, core is tight. Hold just a second longer. All right, retracting back and we're back to standing. All right, team. Last and final moment, just to warm up our upper body here, we're gonna go into YTW. So feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna come here. This is gonna be center. All right, from here, we're gonna extend up into a big Y. Thumb space in the back of the room here. You're gonna feel your shoulder blades come together here, squeezing at the top, back to center, big T. Again, nice chest, nice proud chest here, and a big W. Good, shoulders roll back, you can feel that stretch in your shoulder. Big Y once again, a little taller. Big T, there we are. Good, big W. Showing off those biceps, last one here, big Y. Big T, good, big W. All right, team, grab some water here, towel off. Get ready for your workout space here. Find that workout space. I'm gonna start the timer here in a few seconds. Again, movement number one is hamstring, I'm sorry, hammer curls with the reverse lunge. Two is downward dog into a push up with alternating shoulder taps. Movement number three is a half kneeling shoulder press, 20 seconds on each side. And movement number four is gonna be your single arm leg extended row, 20 seconds on each side with that one. All right, team. Here we go, clock is started here. Grab a pair of dumbbells. We have 10 seconds before we jump into our hammer curl with alternating reverse lunge. All right, here we go, team. Three, two, one. All right, 40 seconds is on the clock. Hammer curl down into your reverse lunge. Control that movement on the way up and on the way down. Good. Again, not a lot of weight is needed um, to really make this challenging. Your body weight can be fine with that reverse lunge. Scaling up with weight is just a little bit more challenging if that's with us today. Eight seconds here. Keep that chest up, shoulders rolled back. Four, three, out in two, one, and time. Recover here for 20 seconds. Movement number one is complete. Let's move into movement number two, downward dog with a push up and a shoulder tap. Coming up in eight seconds. Find that space on our floor here. High plank position first. And three, two, one. Feet shoulder width apart, hands shoulder width apart, stacked underneath our shoulders. Downward dog, nice tall stretch through your hips. Back into your high plank. Push up. One, two shoulder taps. Downward dog. Feel that stretch. Pause at the top. Push up here. Nice quality push up. Keep looking down at your fingertips. Down dog. You feel that stretch in your shoulders, hips. Good. Try to get those heels back towards the floor. Last eight seconds here. Out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds to recover here. Find a single dumbbell. We have a half kneeling shoulder press. All right, good, catch our breath here. Eight seconds, 20 seconds on each side. My left leg is up, my right hand has the dumbbell front rack position here. Chest is up nice and tall, shoulders rolled back and we are working 20 seconds on each side. Good, nice quality presses here. Bringing that elbow slightly 
towards the front. Five more seconds and we are going to switch sides. Three, two, one. Go ahead and alternate arms and legs. Switch, left leg is pressing up now. Front rack position here. We can counter with that arm out to the side like so. We can support our chest, making sure that it is rolled back. Nice and proud here. Really forcing us to stabilize off of one knee. At two, one, drop that weight, recover here. Good job. Single arm, single leg, jump, dumbbell row. All right, standing up nice and tall here. Right hand has the weight, left leg is down. Right leg is extended back. Three, two, one. Find your balance here. 20 seconds of rowing off of one side. Again, if we need to place that rear extended leg, toe touching the ground here, perfectly fine. Soft bend at our knees here. Five seconds and we're gonna switch. Three, two, one. Squeezing at the top. Right leg is down, left leg is, left hand is up. Left leg is extended out. My right arm is extended out to my side as well. Nice balance here. Soft bend at our knees, relatively straight line here. Five seconds, out in three, two, one, and time. Round number one is in the books here. Good job, team, good job. How does that feel? Grab that water, refocus here, kind of reanalyze how we did in round number one. Is there any way we can scale up our tempo or scale up our movements by adding additional weight? Let's try that out. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds here. Good job, team. All right, again, let us know where you're joining from. This is a great time to kind of chime in. Let us know if you have any questions or any comments within the comments here. Um, what's challenging? What's, uh, what move do you enjoy so far? What move is challenging, most challenging for you? 10 seconds here. Grab that pair of dumbbells. We have hammer curls with a reverse lunge coming up in five. <laughs> 